What does it take to win on the road, Jack? Uh, I think just coming in, kind of blocking out the noise and just playing football. You got to obviously deal with the crowd, a new environment, but just get used to that. And, and I don't know, at the end of the day, I think it's just playing football, really. Just got to play our game and execute. And things should take care of themselves. How much tougher is the road? Yeah, you know, it's, it's just a couple extra added challenges. You know, you're not really familiar with the, the whole game day process, where everything is, so just dealing with that. And, and then crowd noise, and obviously the other team is used to playing there a bunch, so they're very familiar with it. Uh, I'd say a little bit harder. All right, next we'll go to Steve Croner at the SF Chronicle. Yeah, Jack, first the hard-hitting journalistic question. Uh, when did you start growing the facial hair? Uh, i say ten, like a week and a half ago. And why? I just let it – I don't know. I just let it go. Let it go in the, during the bye week. Usually go clean shaven before the game. And then just didn't have a game last week. So will you shave before the game? Oh, that's still – that's up in the air, so it'll be a game time decision. I got some people saying they kind of like it, so – We'll see. Okay. Uh, speaking of game time decision, could you have played if you had a game this past Saturday? Yeah, I think so. Could have played. And uh, I was a little limited in practice, still practice a little bit. But uh, just with the off week, trying to get get healthy, get get all cleaned up. And, yeah, I could have gone. I mean, it, this is maybe a little bit of an awkward question, but I'll ask it anyway. There's There's this thought. In all sports, you know, you want to play even when you're hurt. And you you, know, you showed that at the end of the game at Washington State. But there is kind of the thought, too, of diminishing returns, that if, you, if you're hurt and maybe you can play, but maybe you can't, not only you're putting yourself maybe in jeopardy, but you're not doing the team a, a service because your backup, you know, Kai or whomever, might be able to be better than you at that state. How do you balance you know, wanting to be out there for your team and playing through injury with being smart about it. Hold on. I'm getting a call here. Kind of. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I, I think, you know, you got to do what's best for the team. And obviously it's a team sport and you want to see the team succeed. But at the same time, you know, you, you also want to be out there. So I think that is a good question. There's a, there's a fine line between, you know, hey, can I play and can I not play? And it comes down to, you know, if if I'm feeling so bad to the point where I can't play, then, yeah, maybe it is in the, in the team's best interest to let someone else play. But, and, you know, that goes for every position. Right. But, I, you know, I think um, in football, you're never, especially midway through the year, you're never going to feel 100%. And, you, you know, you're going to have to learn to battle through things and, um yeah, yeah, and you always want to be out there, and and that's that's the goal every week is to get ready to go and play. And but I think you bring up a good point, and yeah, I think there is a fine line, but I think everyone kind of knows when you can and, and when you can't play. And a lot of times, it's pretty clear for the coaches, like, hey, you know, this guy is you know actually hurting us. We should probably take him out. A for his own health, and and B right. for and B for the sake of the team. We'll go to Jim McGill from – or Steve, you got a follow-up there? No. Okay. Jim McGill, go ahead. Hey, Jack, now that you're feeling a little bit healthier, how confident are you that the offense will sort of get back to where you were the week before WSU? Yeah, we feel good that we're going to, you know, get back on track. And uh, we just got to be more consistent. And we've shown that we can, you know, put up points and, and do the whole nine yards. But – at the end of the day, we got we got to put points on the board for our defense. I think they're playing really well, and um, yeah, we got to score touchdowns. Have you ever played against a team that had a midseason coaching change? And what are you expecting out of Colorado coming into this week with new coaches and sort of a new attitude, presumably? Yeah, last year I did play against uh, um, UConn the week after they had uh, fired their coach, and. You know, you, you expect kind of them to run a very similar um, style of things just because you can't put a whole new playbook in. And, you know, they had a bye week in two weeks. 
but you got to be prepared for new wrinkles and and newer things and you're going to have to make some uh, in-game adjustments because I'm sure they're going to do something that is unscouted. But yeah, you just got to got to deal with what's on the tape, study that and then um you know, it's the same players that are out there and we just got to, you know, do our best to studying them and kind of their structure, their defense and and then make good in-game adjustments. Thanks. Any other questions for Jack, guys? All right. Looks like we're good, Jack. I think, uh, yeah. Okay. I think Jake has one. Okay, <clears throat> go ahead, Jake. You're doing the MC here now. Um, <laughs> um, so you're you're full go. You're not limited at all. Yeah, yeah. I practiced yesterday, uh, full go. Practice today here in a couple hours, so should be good. All right, guys, is that it? Thanks, Jack. All right, thanks, Jack. <laughs>